everybody hope you're having a wonderful day hope thursday was pro productive and profitable for you and what i've got for you today is part four of how to be an entrepreneur all right now this one right here is one of the very most important ones okay and so many times it cripples people and it prevents them from going after what it is that they truly want to be doing and making their dream come true, okay? And it's one of those things that it's attached to everything and, you know, it's going to crop up in your life in many different areas. Um, it's going to, you'll hear it, and it happens in all different forms. And unfortunately, the ones that are the most successful are the ones that do this the most often. And the thing about it is, it's not that bad. You'll live through it. It doesn't physically hurt. But you have to embrace it. Many times people think about this and they don't ever get started. And I'd be willing to bet that by now you've figured it out that to be an entrepreneur, you're going to have to become acclimated to failure. That's right. Okay. And the thing about it is, is the more shots you take, the better off you're going to do. And as a result, you will fail more often. And the thing about that is, you got to be acclimated to failure. And the thing about it is, is that keeps so many people from not embarking and trying something. You know, I, uh, I had no idea people would subscribe to my channel. You know, no idea. And, but I went ahead and did it. You know what? And virtually every bit of this footage on my YouTube channel has been done with an 8 plus iPhone. Okay? Y'all already know it's not the best quality. I'm not a videographer and I ain't real good with editing and all that kind of stuff and everything like that. But you know what? I never said, well, I don't have the right equipment. I don't have the right phone. I'm not sure if I can do this. I don't know anything about filming or talking or anything like that. I was like, hey, screw it. I'm going to make it happen, and I'll put it out there to the universe, and if they respond, great. If not, I'm okay with that as well, you know? But if I had let that fear of failure keep me stuck and stupid, then I would have never done it, you know? The thing about the dump trailer, you know, I got it used it. It sat for a month, and then I was like, hey, I need to get this thing making some money. And, uh, you know, and so I made some advertisements, put them out there, and then boom, and then we have Tyson. And, um, you know, and all of a sudden, people started calling, and uh, the dump trailer started making me money. So the dump trailer hustle would have never come to fruition if I'd been worried about failure. And the thing about it is, is that, you know, I mean, just imagine if Ben Franklin had been worried having to do with the light bulb and say, ah, oh, that'll never work. You know, he would have never tried. Okay. Never found out about electricity. All right. Just so many things. What if, you know, Elon Musk, ah, oh, you know, electric car, nobody will ever do that. You know, Tesla, boom, there you have it. The thing about it is, is that fear cripples so many people and it's so cunning that it comes in in such a subtle manner, and people are like, yeah, that's a baby, he's a baby. He's checking to make sure I ain't got no fleas on me, yeah. And so a lot of people are like, oh, I, you know, that, that might be just a little bit too expensive, or, I, you know, uh, and what if, and then uh, here's one I hear all the time, what if I get sued? You know what, what if? Tell me, tell me what if, okay? The thing about it is, is if you get out of bed, there's a possibility you're getting sued, all right? So it's not even realistic, you know, because anybody can sue anybody for anything, okay? If you'll pay the lawyer, he'll file the paperwork, and he's going to be taking that check all the way to the bank saying that stupid 
That person it will never win and everything, but I'm cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Yep, let me sue them, okay? There's always going to be somebody that's going to relieve you of your money happily, okay? Don't ever forget that, all right? But the thing about it is, is that fear right there is going to keep you crippled, stuck and stupid, doing nothing. So, here's the thing about failure. Get used to it. It's going to happen. Do me a favor. Go outside and just practice falling down in the front yard, okay? Go ahead. Get it out of your system, okay? Go ahead and practice it. That way you know how it feels. You know what to expect. There's no surprises, okay? And that's what everybody wants is that safety and security. Being an entrepreneur, it's not there, okay? When you go to work for somebody else, you give up the possibility of making a kajillion dollars for the safety and security of making somebody else's dream a reality. That's exactly what happens. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, okay? My hat's off to people that are able to accomplish that and that will do that, you know? I am not one that can stay in the same place, going to the same thing, doing the same thing day in and day out for 20, 30, 40 years, okay? And I can't keep my mouth shut that long, all right? So I don't play well with others, so I'm better at being an entrepreneur, okay? And, and I really can't tell you totally if I am an entrepreneur. And the reason I say that is, is that when you look at the definition of a business, I actually don't have a business. And the thing about a business is, is a business has a set of processes that are recorded. Most of the time it's a manual, it could be a video. But they have a set of processes that are recorded that anybody can take that manual and be in business with it. And I'll give you a great example. The best in the world at doing that is McDonald's. McDonald's has a process for everything that goes on in that restaurant, okay? Trust me, they have spent millions and millions of dollars putting those manuals together. But if you're totally new and say like you bought a McDonald's, you could go in there and you know, it might take you a couple hours to get your first hamburger out and everything like that, but you will learn and it is in the manual on exactly how to prepare that Big Mac, how to do the large fries, apple turnover, all that stuff. That's a business, okay? I really don't have anything like that. I have a number of jobs that pay well that I've created for myself. I do have an associate that works for me, Carla. Y'all heard me talk about her. She's been in a number of the videos, okay? But I really don't have a business per se. Guess what? I don't let that stop me. I'm not worried about somebody showing up, hey man, you ain't legit, you ain't got no business. You know what? Because I just go, Brrr. Well, that money is legit, and uh, I'll see you later. I'm retired, okay? So, here's the thing is, is that you have got to get acclimated to failure. Failure is part of the process. The more it happens, the better off you're going to be. If you are in sales, you know what you're looking for. Not, can I have this? You're looking for no. I don't want that. Why? Because then we can work through that. And if you work through enough no's, What's left to do? Say yes. So, say yes to failure. Start your entrepreneurship. Make sure that you watch number five tomorrow because it will tie everything in together. And hopefully a few of you will be starting a side hustle this weekend and getting it going on Monday. So, be productive, be profitable. If you need me, send me an email. It's in the description. RentalRobertPCola at gmail.com. Stay tuned. Talk at you later.